I have a poem I'd like to share today by an unexpected author to celebrate the Feast of the Divine Maternity. At morn, at noon, at twilight dim, Maria, thou hast heard my hymn. In joy and woe, in good and ill, Mother of God, be with me still. When the hours flew brightly by, and not a cloud obscured the sky, my soul, lest it should truant be, thy grace did guide to thine and thee. Now, when storms of fate o'ercast, darkly my present and my past, let my future radiant shine with sweet hopes of thee and thine. This lovely poem was written by, wait for it, Edgar Allan Poe, what? who for a time lived within earshot of the Angelus Bells of the church at St. John's College, now known as Fordham University in the Bronx. It's said that in his grief after the death of his much-loved wife in 1884, he received great solace through the friendship of the Jesuits at St. John's. It's not recorded that Poe ever converted to the faith, but one wonders. This poem is not the only hint of Catholic sensibilities in his writings. Regardless, it seems that this iconic author, known for tales of woe and horror, recognized that the mother of sorrows, the mother of our Creator, is a mother of consolation and hope. We can only hope her influence helped him save his soul before his untimely end. One thing we know, as it seems he did, the Blessed Mother is as necessary to human equilibrium today as she has ever been in the history of Christendom. Maybe more so in the depths of the downward spiral we've managed to put ourselves in the 21st century. We cannot call on her too often for the big troubles of the world outside our windows and for each everyday challenge we face in our own homes. Mater Dei, dear Mother of God, especially on your feast day, ora pro nobis. <laughs> <laughs>